Has there ever been a time in your life when you faced a moral dilemma? A time when you asked yourself, should I or shouldn't I? A time when your conscience tells you one thing and your flesh tells you another? Well, Charlie Harper had one of those dilemmas. It was the old battle between right and wrong. It all started like any other typical day at school for Charlie, hanging with friends, talking to girls, sleeping in class, and getting made fun of. Really, dude? A dictionary? Get with the times, man. Why, you ask? You see the phone Charlie is holding. Well, it isn't the latest and greatest. And when you don't have the latest and greatest, you're basically the low man on the school's social totem pole. And believe me, Charlie's phone put him right at the bottom. Although he acted like seeing other students with their phones didn't bother him, it really did. All Charlie dreamed about was getting the new Nebulous X3 7000 phone. He even tried dropping hints to his mom and dad way before Christmas, hoping they would get the hint. But Christmas came, and unfortunately there was no phone. Charlie thought that his quest to have the Nebulous X3 7000 phone were dashed until something unexpected happened that day. Every day, Charlie would visit the library after school, of course, to check out books. Then he saw it. Could it be? Waiting there just for him, a Nebulous X3 7000 phone? Hey, Charlie? Yeah. She sure is a beauty, ain't she? And she's all yours for the taking. Yeah, it sure is a nice phone. You got that right, amigo. And you know that age old saying, find is a keepers, losers a weepers. Charlie, you can't take that phone. Look who's here, Mr. Killjoy. Charlie, don't listen to him. He's got his halo on a little too tight, if you know what I mean. It isn't yours, Charlie. This is considered stealing. Stealing? Well, we're not stealing. We're just moving it from one location to another location. But I can't afford a phone like this, and this might be my only opportunity to have one. That's right, you tell him. This here is an opportunity of a lifetime. So let's pick it up and find those. But Charlie, what about the person who lost the phone? Boo hoo hoo, that's touching. Look Charlie, can't you see what Goody Two Shoes is doing? He's trying to play her emotions. But Charlie, what if the tables were turned and you had something important taken from you? Charlie, don't fall for his put yourself in their shoes trick. Charlie, you should always do to others as you would have them do to you. If you don't take this phone, somebody else will. Charlie, don't do it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Have you seen my phone? Sorry, I have it. Oh, just the one I left it here. Hey, did you find it? No. It had all of my grandfather's voicemails and pictures on it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he died last month. That day, Charlie learned a very valuable lesson. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. As far as the devil, <laughs> well, he got what was coming to him. Let's just say the angel gave him a whooping he'll never forget.